when you don't agree with Hamas or any other thing of that nature. But please protect humanity. We need all those who want to give humanitarian support to be given a passage to enter Gaza, to send water, to send food, to send medical equipment and medicine in Gaza. Israel is refusing a passage for humanitarian intervention in Gaza. And every individual who is self-respecting, especially ourselves as Africans, can never agree with a country that can refuse people water because water is life. Ghananians, the unity of this continent starts from here because the determination, the self-determination of Africa started from here. When you got your first independence, we knew that day that one day South Africa will be free. And when Frelimo won in Mozambique, we celebrated in South Africa as if that, is, that was our freedom. But we knew that the freedom of the people of Mozambique means the freedom of South Africa. Because that's how we are connected. We celebrate each other's achievement. It started here in Ghana. It ended in South Africa. The unity of Africa must start here in Ghana and will capture it in South Africa because we always followed the leadership of the Ghanaian people. The economic freedom, the economic freedom of Africa will start in South Africa. We want our land. We make no apology when we say we want our land. Our land was stolen and we want it back without paying a cent. And no one must pay for a cent everywhere in Africa when they demand the expropriation of land without compensation. These people came and stole your car. And later on you discover your car. They say, it's true, it's your car. But pay us before you get this car back. And when you ask them why, you say, I must pay. They say, we've put mag wheels, we've improved the car. Therefore, you must pay us, irrespective of them being in possession of stolen property. Anyone in possession of stolen property is a criminal. And therefore, anyone in possession of our land without our permission is a land thief, is a criminal, and must be identified as such. When I say to you, demand the land, and we we'll lead that struggle from South Africa, I know land brings about everything. For you to have a hair saloon, you need land. For you to have a small shop of IT, you need land. The beautiful beaches belongs to the land. The mineral resources, the gold, iron ore, copper, and all types of mineral resources belong to the land. That's why when they came to Africa, they did not steal our women or our men. They stole the land. They knew women and men will come with the land. That's why we need to start from where they started when they offended us. We need to take the land. Because once we take the land, they will start respecting us. You will never be respected if you don't own property. It doesn't matter if all of us in South Africa own property. As long as the people of Namibia, as long as the people of Ghana do not own the land, then our land ownership is meaningless because when you go to the USA, they don't see South African. They see an African. West, they can't differentiate between South Africa and Ghana. That's why all of us must reclaim the land and the mineral resources of the land and the natural resources of the land 
so that when we move all over the world, when they see a black person, they should know these are the property owners of their own continent and their own land. So when we fight for economic freedom, we should do so without being ashamed. Because political freedom that Kwame Nkrumah achieved and generations after him achieved is meaningless without economic freedom. You can vote until you are purple. As long as there is no bread on the table, that vote is meaningless. You must vote when you arrive at home. You must find bread. You must find free education. You must find quality public health. You must find reliable electricity and not what we experienced earlier on. We must make sure that we own everything that belongs to us. So Africans, I don't care how many we are, we must believe in ourselves. At least be an individually liberated African who is not scared of colonizers, who is not scared of white people, who doesn't worship the establishment, who calls a spade a spade. That is the only way Africa will be respected. This continent is one. They might think they divided it. I can guarantee you now, like we saw when Ghana got liberated in South Africa, we said one day it will happen. It came many years after, but eventually it came. The unity of this continent is going to come. And when we call on each other to come into each other's countries, we must embrace that with ease. Me being here in Ghana, I don't feel like I'm in a different country. Because in this world, there is nothing different I'm not used to in South Africa. When I look at left or right, I see my brothers and sisters. When I walk outside and drive all over, I see the poverty of Africa that I see at home. So why would I claim I'm in a different home? Because conditions are the same. So when I'm here, I'm at home. When you are in South Africa, feel at home. South Africans are not xenophobic. South Africans are peace-loving people. And I extend my invitation to all of you to come and study in South Africa, to come and work in South Africa, to come and take your holidays in South Africa, because it is your home too. The same way you welcomed us here, we'll welcome you in South Africa. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Round of applause again, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. I'm sure we are all waiting to ask a few questions. Yeah. Why are they not implementing what he is coming out with? And in fact, as he is in Ghana today, I'm very happy to see him here. And I want, or we want, all our Africans to emulate whatever he is saying. To an well, thank you very much, sir. We don't have time. Thank you. Um, there was a hand over there. The guy in blue. Yes. And then two. One will come from here. One will come from here. Thank you very much. I've always dreamed to get the please, opportunity. Let's go straight to the questions, please. I am about to ask the question. So ask. Yeah. Thank you very much. My question is, in South Africa, I have been monitoring 
Honorable Julius Balema for about 10 years now. <laughs> I have about 500 of his videos on my phone here. Wow. I post his videos on various days. <laughs> my friends actually call me Julius Malema. My question is, there is this guy in South Africa called Inalalax, who is spearheading an operation called Operation Dudula. I want to ask my president in waiting that how is he going to push this guy out from South Africa to make sure that the blacks in South Africa enjoy as the way they will enjoy in their country? Thank you very much. Junior Malema, round of applause. <laughs> yes, you. Bakwazi. Yes, sir. I saw this one first, the one standing over here. Sorry. And then the chief at the back. Thank, thank you very much. My name is, my name is John Achukakito, a constituency executive of Lejekugu, but hails from North Tongue. What I want to find out for Comrade Julius is that there's a problem in Africa. I won't mention, I won't illustrate my position with a political party, but I'm going to illustrate it A and B. <laughs> I thank Honorable Okuja too. He just looked at me because I thought I come from North Tongue. <laughs> There's a problem in Africa, A and B. If you are in A and there is a wrong going on in A, in your submission, you talk about, you call names, thieves, criminals. In, in Ghana, Africa, if there is a corruption going on in A, you can come out and say it. When you say you are the black sheep of the family. So I want to find out, are we really, do we really want to build Africa? Do we, the hypocrisy and the pretense is one too many. I thank God that my MP is here. He's a very vocal person. Let us speak truth to power. That is the only way Africa will come out from the deteriorating and the disgrace we go through. Thank I you. won't talk much. Thank you very much. Thank Aluta! You. The last one. Aluta! The man at the back in green. I saw him first, respectfully. Respectfully. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. I am Isaac Ofwegedi Matu from Tema, in Krumah's Tema. Uh, you know, I have a similar platform, so we, we give by this way, in Krumah, Gave, and Rastafari Makonem. So when I say in Krumah, I, you repeat after me. When I say Gave, I, you repeat after me. Um, sir, Hello. for want of time. Ask yes, your question. It's all about Pan-Africanism. We know. Chroma, uh, Chroma, all... We know. Okay, respectfully. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Malema. Thanks for coming here. We will monitor you for South Africa. Thank you very but much. We are here. I appreciate you. <laughs> there's... Um, there's... <laughs> Bakwazi. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. Mr. Please, let's be silent, respectfully. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable. Yes, and then I again thank the organizers of this event. Um, my name is, let me mention, okay, I'm Engineer Dr. Bright Sugbe of African Development Council. My concern here is that the continent has been seen as the, the, I mean, the producers of raw materials, and they want it to remain safe without any change. Um, one individual group, many, many groups arise on the continent seeking the same song. Honorable Malema, is there a way we can get all these groups together singing the same songs at higher pitch and tone in order to I mean, achieve our results? Well, thank you very much. That will be all for the questions.
Um, if our Honorable Malema, please calm, calm, calm. Let's proceed. Let's proceed. Let's proceed. Okay, let him answer. Thereafter, if there's time, we will take a few more questions. So, Comrade, Comrade Malema, if you may respond to, yes, you can just stand here and respond to them. No, oh, uh, yeah. Please, let's be calm. Let's be calm. Choboy. 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 Thank you. So, thank you very much. Uh, I think most of the points were just complimentary more than anything. Ntantalax is not a definition of South Africa. He wanted to use xenophobia for his rise to fame. Even the uh, uh, Tudula movement did not belong to him. He went to hijack it for his own selfish interest and we have reduced him to an insignificant molecule. And therefore, no one can rise in Africa on the ticket of xenophobia. That is the beginning and the end of your political career. So anyone who says such politics is not worth entertaining because they are short-lived politics and they will never be sustained because politics are based on history, on philosophy, on ideology. Who of the ideological icons that are celebrated internationally and politically, progressively, who has arisen into power on the basis of xenophobia. So it, that's why it's not sustainable. So please, such individuals who seek to project us as wrong people in South Africa, do not take them to heart. Uh, I like that. You see, speak truth to power. But please don't, don't want to be liked. A lot of us, we suffer from wanting to be liked, especially being liked by people in power, because you seek favors. I seek no favor, for because I believe in myself. So you ought to believe in yourself. If you are an engineer like my brother here, if you are a doctor like my sister here, you've got the qualifications, you've got what it takes. You're not going to be scared of some illiterate because it comes from the bush and they say he's a soldier, a non-thinker, and you are scared that when I oppose this person, he will point a gun at me. You must tell him that put it here and shoot me and make sure I die because I'm not scared of death. I'm scared to die before I die because the day you stop telling the truth and you are pretending and you seek to be liked, you are dead. You are equal as a dead person because you are not enjoying anything. So when I live here, I'm not worried there's someone who's going to call and say, yeah, those things you spoke about them there, uh, pay me the money I borrowed you. Uh, I don't owe anyone anything, nothing. I don't seek favors from a white man, from colonialists from anyone. So my brother, don't be scared. Don't try to really impress, cor because you're impressing corruption. You are not impressing that person. You want to be liked by corruption. So you can't seek love from corruption. Corruption is the destroyer of future and must be fought here in Ghana, and it must be fought in South Africa, and it must be fought all over Africa. So. Please, let's not be scared to confront the powers that be. Um, you know, these people, when they came to enslave our people here, they were not coming to enslave people. They came to steal the minerals. They were not coming for us. Then they ended up fetching us as well to join the minerals. We were first like minerals. We were traded like minerals. When you think of undermining the democratic achievements that we've made, think 
of those people who were enslaved, put in boats, in their numbers chained, taken outside of our beautiful continent by force. And they could not chain you as an individual. They have to chain you ten by ten. When the sea goes crazy and the boat can't stand the wind, they think it maybe is overweight. In the middle of the sea, they take ten of you, they push you out of the boat so that the boat can sail with the remaining slaves. When the boat sleigh continues to, to continue to carry our people out of the continent, ten of them pushed out, twenty of them pushed out, both their hands and feet chained. There is nothing so painful to die without a fight. Hmm. That even when you know this shark is going to kill me, let me try, maybe I'll be Moses and hold the mouth and let that time the shark is attacking you, 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 you die with dignity because you have put some sense of fight. But our people did not have that dignity. They died chained. And we are not here to impress anyone who wants to undermine the legacy and the struggles of those people who died chained. We are not about these people who exist now. We are about President Rawlings. We are about Kwame Nkrumah. We are about all those who came before us. These ones that are still with us will be reminded of what we come from. Because they must never think they made us. They were made by those chained slaves. Every time you want to do wrong, every time you want to undermine the struggle and the unity of Africa, remember our people died chained. They could not put up a fight. We are fighting on their behalf and will never retreat until their dignity is restored. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Commit Julius Malema. I'm sorry, we may not be able to take any more questions. Okay, well, yeah, yes, he has a flight to catch, so respectfully, let's respect his time as well. I know we have tons of, of questions for him.